Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525 here, back with another drawing video. Uh, today's video is going to be on Shadow the Hedgehog, but as a human. And this video was requested by, I'm not going to pronounce your name, so I'm just going to spell it. D-I-M-A-K-A-Y-S-O, next word, N-K-O-S-I. I'm not going to pronounce that right, so I just spelled it out. But thank you very much for the request. Um, yeah, so we're just drawing Shadow as a human, uh, basically kind of the same characteristics. I basically just looked at, um, maybe just Google Shadow the Hedgehog as a human. I saw one of pictures and just kind of redrew it there. I just got a text, and my text ring is, uh, getting a ring from Sonic, so. Yeah, anyway, guys, um, so yeah, not much more to say about that, and, um, get your pencils ready, and, uh, let's jump in. Alright guys, so to draw, start off drawing Shadow, we're going to draw a nice big circle, make it a decent size, something like that's pretty good, and then um, we can just draw a line, he's basically standing straight up, so the line of action is pretty, pretty just up and down, and then a little bit before here, we're going to draw in a line going across, have a circle here, circle here, but then we're going to get a big kind of oval right here. A little oval. This is going to be his hand, but I'm basically just gesturing it in right here. That's going to be his hand. His arm's going to go out and over like this. Then he's going to have a chest. Goes down into like his stomach. Get like a little bit of his pelvis in there. And... Yeah, that's pretty good. So anyway, that's good enough for the gesture. We got a basic outline of what we're going to draw. So now we can zoom in, do a little bit of detail. I'm going to start off with his face. And if you want to, you can draw the crosshairs. Um, they would look something like that. And basically what I like starting out with is just like his nose. So right in the middle here, we're just going to draw a line going down. Kind of curve it in a little bit like that. And then we're going to get his eyes to kind of two nice rough circles right here. And once we have his eyes, we can kind of draw in his uh, head shape. So basically, there's going to be a little curved line right here that's going to just dip in and then go out. And then here, it's just going to go down to a point, kind of go over and then up. Something like that. And now, we need to actually just get all of his face details in. So I'm going to start off with these eyes, kind of make them a little bit better positioned. But basically, all you want to do for the eye is um, start off with a curve line that curves over like this. And then it's going to dip in, so you get kind of like a hook, almost. And then kind of the same thing over here, just curve line going down and in like that. And then once you got that down, you can draw in a um, circle, and then another circle. And then you're going to want a light reflection, so to do that, you just draw a little half circle right in the upper right corner. And then just another little circle for the pupil, and you can shade that in as well. So a little circle for the pupil, shade that in. And also, I um, mean, thicken out this line, so you just kind of... Get a little bit of thickness, like that, just because like these are his eyelashes and usually in like anime, they have kind of like thick, thick eyelash lines, but something like that, that would be perfect. And then for his eyebrows, um, this one's just kind of like this little curve line like this, it's just going to go up and over, and then another one, like that, and then this one's just going to kind of go up and have a curve to it, like that, and then for his mouth, it's pretty much kind of like this square, almost, but what we're going to do is we're going to round it off, go down, round it off, kind of curve it in a bit here, just very slightly, and then we're going to draw a curve line over here, but it's not going to go all the way across, it's going to stop a little bit before we hit this line. And then a little bit before this line ends, we're just going to draw a curved line right here for the teeth. Actually, put this in a little bit more, like that. 
and then a little curve line right here for the tongue and now we could shade this in like that and actually looking at this I can kind of play with the jaw a little bit like that and now before we jump into the hair and everything we're going to just draw in his uh, neck which is just kind of like this little cylinder right on the bottom here like that but um, now we're going to jump into the hair so um, he you can basically break down his hair into like his front bangs that are going to be like in front of his face and then like his back hair so we're going to do the bangs first and basically what you do is you get like three um, kind of big spikes so we're going to get one right here like this and then we're going to get one over here that kind of branches off into like two spikes like that and then one over here that kind of branches off into two spikes but the second spike is super tiny like that and now we can give it a little bit of detail so I'm gonna just do it real dark um, basically you're gonna do a curve line here just kind of following this spike um, give a little bit of space but then start about here and just draw a curve line curving in like this then it's going to go up and over like that. And then here you're going to get a little bit of a dip. So it's going to go out, kind of dip in slightly, and then dip back up. So you get like a little bump. And then it's going to curve down and in. This one's going to be down and in like that. And then this last one basically just follows the gesture that we have. It's just a curve line going down and then up. It's going to curve in like that. And then for like the, because Shadow has like highlights in his hair, you basically just draw little curve lines like this. So you get one here, you're going to get one there, one about here, one here, and then one here. Those, those are like the highlights in his hair, because Shadow has like red highlights. And once you got that down, he does have a little tiny little spike going out right here, so we can draw that in. Just a long little spike going out. Like that. And then we can draw in his ears, which his ears kind of go off the bangs that we have here. And it's just um, basically a triangle going off, and then down, a line going up. So you get like another little triangle right there. And then a little curve line right there. And pretty much the same thing. You're going to get like a nice little triangle right there. And then from the very center here, we're going to just draw a line going down like this. Because this here is more on the side. This one's more head on. And then uh, from here, we're going to just get a curve line like that. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now we could draw in the rest of his hair. And his hair basically um, follows Shadow's head. So you're basically going to go off, you're going to get that like first spike that's going to kind of curve in like this. And then he's going to have a second spike that curves down and up, kind of like supersonic. And then the last one kind of does the same thing. Like that. And you're just darkening the lines here. And again, these would have highlights too. Very similar to Shadow's head. You're basically just drawing Shadow at this point. Like that. So that's pretty much it for his head. Now we could jump into uh, his hand over here. Because it's kind of like the next thing that's kind of in front of everything. So it's pretty good for the gesture, but I'm going to do a little bit more. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to get an oval like this. And it's going to curve down into the hand here like that. And then we're going to get four circles. And they're going to go on an arc because your hand works on like an arc. And then we're going to have one finger going out this way. One finger that kind of goes out and then curves in. And then one that just goes up and then another one that just goes up. Like that. And now uh, this is probably the hardest part about the whole drawing. But uh, just try your best to follow along. So basically since we got like the kind of knuckles here. I'm going to just start out by drawing this index finger. So I'm going to start here by the knuckle and just draw like a little bump. Like that. 
and then I'm gonna work it into a straight line that goes up kinda curves down and in like this and then from this bump we're gonna follow kinda like the hand the gesture that we have here and it's gonna go around kinda up get a little slight bump there and then it's gonna go into the pinky finger over here the pinky finger is just this simple kinda like U shape same thing with this kind of like middle finger or ring finger over here. It's a line going up. Kind of get that U shape thing going on. And it's going to kind of go down and in. Like that. And then the middle finger starts about here. And just a line going up. And then over. Kind of curve it around. And in. And then down like that and I'm gonna erase some of the overlap so it's a lot clearer just for the middle finger here because it's going over the hair like that and then he's wearing gloves so to draw like glove details you can draw a little curve line right here for the like fingernails and then just a little curve line here and a little curve line here just for um, showing like the bend in the fingers and you would see the thumb too, so the thumb is basically this kind of line that just kind of goes out and then over and you get a little bit of the palm right there which is just a curved line. But that's it for that hand and then once we got that we can kind of finish it off so he has the inhibitor ring so it's basically, basically just this kind of curve line that goes around his wrist here and then we're going to get like his little wrist thumb gauntlet part and that's basically just a little kind of square that like pops out with another little square right here and then you get a little bit of the wristband like that all right and now that that's done we can kind of gesture in um the hand here it's basically going to be this kind of elongated kind of oval but we just need that in there just for a second but we're actually going to kind of draw on his body and then kind of work our way into his hand here so now that we got that done we can kind of draw in his coat a little bit so his coat it basically has like these big kind of round shapes right here for his like fur like that and then for the fur you can kind of just kind of follow the shape but just kind of make jagged like uh lines going out like little spikes like that just to show it's kind of like fur like that and then his arms gonna go out here and just kind of go down kind of curve in and down love his whole like wrist part here and it's gonna go over and in like that so it's pretty much now we could jump into the hand now that we have like this portion for it. So this hand's pretty easy. Um, basically, you're gonna draw the four circles like this on an arc, and um, only the index fingers going out. So we can just kind of draw a line going from here, get a bump, kind of down and in. So you get kind of like that U shape, and then we're gonna get a curve line here down and in like this so you get a shape that looks something like this it's hard to explain but I'm sure if you're looking at the video you can just follow along and then for uh, the pinky finger it's gonna be a line going down over and then in like that this finger the ring finger is gonna go down over and in the middle finger kinda the same thing just down over and in like that and then we'll just get another line for the um, index finger right there. So that's pretty much it for that hand. And then um, now we could draw the inhibitor ring, which again is just kind of like this kind of oval that hugs um, the wrist here. And then we're going to get a little um, rectangle. Actually, we're going to get like an L shape. And then we're going to get like a little curve line and then kind of hug the L shape back in so you get kind of like this like bubble 
L, like bubble letter L, like that. And then you're going to get a curve line going out like this for instance inhibitor. You basically want there to be like a little bump between this part and this part just to show like this part's kind of like over this one. So don't just make like a square and then like the lines and keep it flat. Make sure there's a bump there. That's basically all I'm trying to say. Then we just draw another little kind of curve line here for his like wrist part. And now we can kind of just draw in the folds for the jacket. So it's basically a line going out here. It kind of curves in twice where um, he's bending his arm. And then just slightly goes up, kind of curves in right here for where his um, sleeve is. And then this line just kind of curves down. You can kind of get like maybe like one or two kind of folds because you're wearing like a, it looks like a stiff like biker leather kind of biker jacket. So couple hard folds, another one there, something like that. And then um, now we can kind of gesture in the rest of the jacket. So it's basically this curve line, kind of curving out, over and in like this, and kind of go in like that. Kind of same thing over here. Like that. And actually, that's pretty good for the jacket. So basically, we can just draw a curve line just kind of following this little uh, gesture that we have for the jacket here. Kind of same thing over here. Like that. And then uh, we'll put a red stripe right here for uh, his jacket. Just a little detail. Like that. And also, there'd be a red um, kind of stripe here on the sleeve. But now that that's done, we can kind of draw in a little bit of like his stomach. Basically it's just going to go in and kind of curve out just a tad right here and here. So it kind of curves in but then curves out where um, his like pelvis is. And then we can draw on the belt which is just kind of like this curve line that goes across like the stomach here. The line going down and over. Like that. But before we jump into his pants, let's just finish off his body. So basically, there'd be a little curve line right here for his collarbone. So nice little curve line right underneath the neck. And then just two lines going out here and here for his collarbones. Then a line going down for like his biceps. Or, no, that's not your biceps, your tricep. No. God, what are your chest muscles? Oh, how did I forget that name? Oh, I'm a bad art student. Pecs. Pectorals. There we go. God, ugh. I had like a mental, like just a mental failure right there. <laughs> anyway, so we have his chest here. So it's basically this curve line, a line going this way, a line going this way, and a line down the middle. And then uh, for his belly button here, it's just like this little circle like that with a line going up. And then his abs are basically just lines going off. So you get one here. Go a little bit up, get another one. That's pretty much it. If you want to, you can kind of draw little curve lines right here. And here. Like that. But that's pretty much it for his stomach. Now, um, now you can draw on the belt. So, for the belt, like, kind of buckle here. You get, like, a rectangle on this little gesture line that we have. And then you get a rectangle that is slightly bigger on the outside. And you get a little bump here for like the little lock. And then you get a series of circles. Like one, two. And we're going to get a little bit more detail. So um, basically here it's going through like the loops of the pants right here. So there's one. There's a second one. They're basically just these kind of like rectangles that go around. There'd be one on the outside here too. Same thing over here. One on the outside. And just to give the belt a little bit more detail, we're basically just going to draw this little kind of U shape kind of going off of it, like this. And we're drawing a little kind of U around the end of it. And then just maybe like a circle or two on there. So it's basically the belt is like going through this thing and then like going over like that. It gives it a little bit more detail than just having the belt end there. Like that. And then just simply for the pants, you could just draw kind of like the V kind of fold right there and then just kind of in 
going off this line. Just kind of curve it in a little bit. Get a couple fabric folds. Kind of go down. Like that. And then... Something like that. Again, we're not finishing off like the legs, so just leaving it off like that should be fine. But um, overall, guys, that's pretty much how you draw a uh, Shadow the Hedgehog as a human. Um, yeah, interesting request. I think I did Sonic as a human before. I think that may be on my how to draw videos. I think I remember doing one of these before. I think it, it might have been Amy Rose. I think it was Amy Rose as a human, now I think about it. But um, anyway, guys, so I'm going to put the sketch that we just did up there. I'm going to get the pre-drawing, the pre-drawed drawing up there. And um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. So what you have on the left there is the inked version. What we have on the right is the sketch that we just did. So um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy Sonic Month. Uh, thank you again for the request. I'm not even going to pronounce. try to pronounce the name. I'll just spell it again. Uh, thank you, D-I-M-A-K-A-Y-S-O-N-K-O-S-I. -S thank you so much for the request. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have requests, I do take them. Basically, all you need to do is leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. There's uh, no uh, like time frame. It's basically just what I feel like drawing that day. And every Sunday, I'll upload a how to draw video. So, um... Yeah, anyway guys, happy Sonic Month. Hope you're enjoying it. I'll be back next Sunday drawing another Sonic-related thing. So, um, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks, bye. Later.